G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit your photo to add a frame and some text in Photoshop Elements Editor. I've just started Adobe Photoshop Elements 12 and I have two choices. I can open up the organizer to manage my photos or the photo editor. I'm just going to click on photo editor today. When you first open the photo editor, you'll be um, brought straight to quick mode. I'm going to click on open to open the photo that I want from my hard drive. Just browse through until I find my photo and click open. Now before I go ahead and do any editing of a photo, I like to save a copy as a Photoshop document. So I'm going to go to File, Save as, Photoshop Document, or PSD for short. Click Save. So I'm pretty happy with how this photo looks. So I'm going to go straight in to the Frames module in the Quick Editor. Here there's a variety of frames I can use on my photo. As I click through the frames, I can see how they look. There's also a plain black or white border. So let's say I was happy with this and I wanted to go ahead and print this out. I would just need to file save as a JPEG so that I was I'm able to print it with a photo printer such as Shutterfly or upload it to Persnickety Prints or my local photo processor. I'm just going to make sure that I save it as a large as possible file so it's high quality. I'll click OK. Now for me this frame is a little vintagey and I'd rather set up my own custom frame. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to close this file and I won't save any of the changes. To open it up again so we start from fresh. Let's head over to expert mode. Now let's say we just want to add a border on this photo so that it ends up at a handy 4x6 size first thing we'll need to do is crop our photograph. So we'll click on the crop tool. We're going to click and on this um, width and height and I'm going to make it 3.75 inches wide by 5.75 inches tall. Now this will give me a quarter of an inch um, frame at the end. So let's click and drag. Photoshop Elements will keep this photo crop here in proportion to the size we've specified. So I'm just going to drag this around till I'm happy with how it's framed and click on the green check mark. Now to add my plain white frame I'm going to be sure that my white colour is in the foreground, so it says white here. You can quickly get to that by um, pressing D to set the colours as default and then clicking on the switch or exchange button. You can quickly change the colour to white by double clicking and dragging up to the top left corner. OK, let's go to our image, resize canvas size. Now we're going to change our canvas size to 4 inches by 6 inches. We'll make sure that the anchor is the center so our photo will stay in the center. we we'll change the canvas extension color to foreground and be sure that it's white there. Now it's added a quarter of an inch white border to my photo. Now this is perfectly 
now a 4x6 photo and if I want to upload that for printing I'll click File Save As JPEG and again I'm going to keep it at the highest quality possible. So now I've got my photo and it's got a little frame there I thought it might be fun to add some text. Let's simply put Edward's name here. I'm going to grab the type tool and click once to create a line of type. I'm going to type Edward. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change the color by clicking on the color box here and then this multicolored button on the bottom right. And then I can actually use this eyedropper to pull a color from the photo. In this case, I'm going to go with the green of his shirt. I'm going to resize my type to be a little bigger. And there we go, we've got Edward. Now that doesn't stand out all that well because of the clutter and the different colors in the bottom left corner. So here's a little bonus to help your type stand out from your photo background. You can go to layer, layer style and style settings. I'm going to add a stroke and I can increase the size of the stroke. I'm going to click on this black box to set the color of the stroke and guess what I'm going for white again. I can resize that stroke a bit until I'm happy with how it looks. From anywhere from very fine to quite thick. I'm going to go with a thick look. I think it looks fairly playful. And then I can just select my type layer here and move it all around until it looks just perfect. So there you have it, a photo with a beautiful even quarter of an inch border and a fun little caption. Don't forget to save your work so that you can come back and edit it later if you need to. By combining different fonts and colours on your borders and type, you can get a lot of different looks. If you'd like to learn more about how you can take your photos and memories to create beautiful pages you'll love, why not check out DigiScrap from Scratch, the new class at Big Picture Classes that takes you through the technology, art and design skills that you'll need to create beautiful digital scrapbook pages.